Hello, people. Now, I want to quickly show you this tactic on Football Manager 2024, uh, producing not only lots and lots of goals, but clean sheets as well. So we'll start here in the Premier League. Okay, I'm going to show you this. We'll start with this friendly. Okay, and if you look over here, okay, and then this, this was obviously a younger tie, but we'll start with the Premier League now, where we get to these, like for example, Sevilla, 5 1 in the uh, Super Cup, okay. This game, now 63% possession, 7 shots, 1 against, okay, and all these, um, oh, not all of them, most of these, okay, the stats, you know, 66%, 60%, sorry, nine shots, two against. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a quick show now, tactics. Okay. And this is it here. So I have a goal, a sweeper keeper on attack, inverted wing back. Support, so he sits in here, and then I've got a libero here on support. He steps into here, okay, making it a three, two, three, five. Ball playing defender. And, you know, and he becomes the, the, the second centre back. Okay, deep line playmaker, box to box, Mazzala, Winger, Winger, they both cut inside in there, positive mentality. Okay, narrow, play down right, shorter, slightly shorter, low crosses, whip all into box, be more disciplined. So that means they maintain that shape when they're in it, they don't, they, know they can't be pulled all over the place. Okay, counter press, distribute quickly, distribute to centre back, take short goal kicks. And much more often, because it's narrow, I want them pressing and winning the ball back, which they do quite aggressively, and get stuck in, balanced and high press, okay? Also, this is uh, the second version of it, which basically puts in more defensively, the, instead of support. The line playing with the defensive, what I do is just take off. Okay, this is just to use at the end of games, just to give the players a bit of a rest because it's very, very high pressing. So it hurt you basically um, helps you defend a little bit better, maintain the game, slow the pace, slow down. Yeah, that's all I did. So I just switched to that. Okay, and bear with me. Comprehensive highlights. I'll show you how it works and how it looks on the pitch. Okay, you notice how the shape two centre backs, three in midfield. Okay.
quickly when they back as well. Two, two centre backs there, and they've only got one defender bank because they're pulling in your two inverted players or, or your Libero is pulling in their full backs in order to mark them. Or their wingers, sorry. We can see the shape of the team. Two centre backs, that's the Ribeiro and your inverted full, inverted full back. So it's a 4 3, sorry, 2 3 4. Okay, could create overload in the box when you see me throw your boxer boxer and your Mazala. And these two sit and cover the spaces. So you can see the shape. Should have scored that Haaland. Okay. And obviously it becomes a football, they become very narrow when they've not got the ball. So they block shots or they quickly squeeze out the space of the opposition. And obviously because I've got to play down the wall flanks, that's where we create the width from it. It spreads the pitch, even though it's narrow. That was a win, that's a case of winning the ball back and a chance created there by Haaland for Haaland. That's a high pressing, get stuck in, winning the ball back in narrow. So we're basically doing what Guardiola does in controlling the middle of the park. So you'll create two boxes, a double box midfield. Goal, Diaz. So he does. It creates a double box midfield. Um, so you have your two centre backs. Yeah. Hopefully you'll be able to see that in a minute. Yeah. Duarte is in our half. This is what Guardiola likes to control the middle. So a box and then so these two create they create a box, the two centre halves and the two the, the libero, sorry the left back who's, who's sitting narrow and uh, becoming a centre half, the libero and they create a box and then there's a box between the, the libero who's in midfield and um the inverted wing back and the You should be able to see soon. Be able to both create box midfields. Well, one back. See how he wins it back. Plays it in. De Bruyne again should have scored. Yeah, he's chasing, winning back, force them long. And that's a goal, Foden. You see the box, and then there's one there as well. Box, box, yeah. Obviously, they're moving about a bit. There's a box, and there's a box, yeah. So I mean by double box and field. Box, box, there, yeah. And it's controlling the middle of the park. Oh, creating passing space, pass, passing options and also making it very, very difficult for them to get out because you're pressing them quickly, winning it back or you're forcing them long. You will need players that are a big squad for this though. We can see the box there and then another one here. Second half now. 
Oh, it's all middle packed out here. Overloads created. Passing are always a passing option. But you don't even give them a bit of space, you're winning the ball back straight away. The total, total pressure. Yeah. And you create better quality chances. Pass, move, hey, that was a bad pass though, but again, they're one forward, is being marked, they have two forwards, they both get marked, but then it leaves the two in the middle, three, yeah? Great goal. So that is, I think that. Project United at home, 68%. So you very rarely have more, less than 68%, 60%. Whoa. Okay. Total domination. Uh, Alvarez played in this one. You can see. So that's it. Have a go with it. Let me know what you think. Cheers, guys. Love you all.